So number three, what is the nominal dimension of an eight foot two by six? Again, this was the same sort of tricky thing. Almost everybody would be assuming I would be asking what is the actual dimension. And I did this in order to make the point um, that you have to actually be really careful about how you're reading it. Don't make assumptions. Actually read all the words and really uh, like parse them as you move through it quickly, but you have to parse them as you move through it. So the key thing here is the nominal uh, what is the nominal dimension of an eight foot two by six? And so the actual answer to that would be uh, eight foot and two and six. So that's the nom that's the named thing. That's what that is. That's an eight foot two by six. Um, if I had asked for the actual dimensions, then what we'd be talking about is a smaller size than the uh, two and six. Uh, so if this was a say a two by four, uh, that actual dimension would be one and a half by three and a half, probably many of you know this, but we'll just run through it real quickly. Uh, if that was a two by six, like we were talking about here, that would be one and a half by five and a half. Uh, if that's a two by eight, uh, this is the tricky part, it goes to one and a half by seven and a quarter. And then all the other ones after that, the tens and the twelves would all go to uh, nine and a quarter and 11 and a quarter. Um, so if we're, similar thing, this is all with dimensional lumber. So this is a uh, similar thing as uh, uh, four by fours, four by sixes, uh, two by fours, two by twelves, all of that kind of stuff. That's dimensional lumber uh, and it's dressed lumber. So in our situation, if this question had actually asked, what is the actual dimension of an eight foot two by six? It would be one and a half by five and a half. And then here's the kind of odd part eight foot, right? Because it's smaller in all of the dimensions, but not in the length dimension, because that doesn't make any sense, right? You're the one who's cutting it at eight feet. Uh, the other dimensions are smaller because that's a dressed dimension of the wood. It's kind of an interesting history to all this stuff. Uh, if you've worked on older buildings, uh, you may well find that you've actually worked in spaces where you had actual two by fours, where it was the actual dimensions of a two by four, like two inches by four inches. Uh, and then over the years, they got sort of smaller and smaller. And the way that most people talk about it is that uh, they would cut it actually as a two by four. And then by partly it shrinks in the, in the kiln process or the drying process. And partly it shrinks when they uh, plane down the edges. It's called dressing the edges. Uh, and so each of the edges gets, gets planed down a bit. Uh, and so it starts at two inches and goes down to one and a half. And it starts at six inches and it goes down to five and a half. In actuality, that's not even really true anymore. It actually starts at about one and three quarter or something like that, or, and then five and three quarter, and then gets planed down from there. Um, and the realization happened many, many years ago that you really didn't need the full two inches. When you're doing something like platform construction uh, or uh, just any kind of framing with, uh, with two by material, it became obvious that because you have so many pieces of framing every 16 inches typically, uh, that uh, having a full two inches of wood just wasn't really necessary. That wasn't, it, you're, you're not using the wood as a big, solid, robust material. You're using it more like a whole series of toothpicks that all get lined up. And because there's a whole lot of them, it doesn't really, uh, they kind of do the job. They, 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 they carry the load. Um, and so it's been engineered down over time to be these very thin uh, one and a half inch uh, wide members, and that that's really plenty big enough. So it's kind of an interesting uh, way to get at it, this idea of the nominal and the actual. You should be really careful. This is such a simple thing to know. Please don't make a mistake on this because it's such an easy way to miss a question and there's really no reason to. Um, but you can see how it ties into all of these other issues. Um, that uh, there's sort of historical aspects to it. There are um, ideas of uh, the specific spacing uh, starts becoming an interesting question. Uh, like you start saying that something is uh, on 16 inches on center. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's 14 inches of space in between. That means there's 14 and a half inches of space uh, in between. So uh, kind of understanding those numbers, you start seeing whole walls very, very quickly and it adds up to a whole sort of assembly system. We do have one question here yeah. from, uh, from Ben. Yep. And he's asking, does NCARB expect the answer to follow a convention about the order? In other words, no. length times width times. Yeah, that's a, really, times WWD. that's a really good question. Um, I don't think they would. Typically, it would actually be, I, I did it kind of backwards on that first one where I put eight foot and then a two by six. Really should be two by six 
by eight. Um, but you'll actually see it done differently. It depends on who you're talking to. Like if you go to Home Depot, they'll do it one way. If you go to some other places, they'll do it another way. It doesn't really matter that much. I don't think it would matter. Like they won't, they won't give you the same numbers, but in reverse order or anything like that uh, on, on this kind of thing. And actually, I don't think they would technically ask you this exact question. It's more this is a question that kind of gets at all of these different kinds of issues. And one other quick thing to say about this just in general, you may, I don't know if you, if you notice, but um, when I'm doing this, I actually should have inch marks on the, when I say one and a half inch by five and a half inch, and then the foot mark at the eight. But I do not have it when I'm talking about the two by six, right? There's no inch marks on the two and the six. And that's because it's not two inches by six inches. It's just that two by six is the name. It's like, uh, it's like a, you know, you're, you're giving it a name. And if I put the inch marks, then what that's saying is it is actually two inches by six inches. Mm -hmm.